see, truly. Maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. You know, I don't, I'm not so self-important that I don't think that there are a few people, you know, sprinkling, who truly did not notice uh, that we weren't posting on the internet, but we weren't really posting Took a wee break on the internet. Yeah, we on the channel. Took some time. And let it be known that we have missed making videos so much. Yeah, for we sure. We kind of stumbled into a little bit of a hiatus, mainly triggered by the fact that our camera, our brand new camera, was damaged by the ocean, the waves of Rockaway Beach. Mm -hmm. And now that we finally have a new camera again, we're so much more re-energized to come back with a bang. Yeah, it also allowed us the opportunity to think really strategically about our YouTube channel and also look inward because we've been doing this for so long, you know? I was like 15 when we first started making yeah. videos. I looked like this. I think that it was really, really great to be able to take a step back. Oh, for live sure. Live in the moment and ask ourselves, like as sisters, as collaborators, as best buddies, like what kind of videos do we want to make? Do we yeah. want to maybe reprioritize or shift or even like continue to step more away? And the answer was no, no more stepping away. We really, really want to make YouTube a more consistent thing. We're quite ready to yes. give this our all and to recommit and to invigorate the chan with like so much stuff. We have We've actively been editing videos to um, yeah, build up a nice backlog of videos for y'all so that we can start posting. What's that? Two times a week. Two times a week, buddy. Very exciting Massive. stuff. Massive. So thrilled to be making content again. It's just, yeah, the break that we needed. We should be uploading now every Sunday and Wednesday. We're going to be seeing our faces twice a week. Holding ourselves yeah. accountable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're going to be getting vlogs. You're also going to be getting more individual style videos. You're going to get more chatty videos about different topics. I know Aline really wants to make more booktube content. I personally would love to make more like outfits of the week. And like, if you don't do a doodle with me, I'm doodle. literally leaving. I would love to do more art videos and journal with me, doodle with me type stuff and just like play around and have fun with different types of content too. Like the vlogs will always be a constant. Always. But we have some really fun things that we just want to try out and we're tired of uh, we're tired of worrying whether something will get views. If it doesn't get views, that's fine as we long really as we care. enjoyed making it and that we're showing up consistently on this channel because that's something that I think is more important than something like blowing up yeah. per se. And so. we're also super interested in just like getting to know the people who um, are interested in getting to know us and all different parts of us, not just like specialty curated parts. So like the stuff that we like really care about. We want you guys to care about it too. Or just find the audience that also cares about that stuff. For those of you who might be new here or you've simply forgotten who we are because god knows it's been a long time so who are you my name is michelle and your name is aline and we're two sisters and roommates living and working in new york city we live on the upper west side we absolutely love it here um we've lived in this apartment since january of 2021 so we've been exploring our neighborhood and just really finding our footing here in manhattan which has been really fun my full-time job is in social media marketing but then i also do youtube on the side as well as some fun art shenanigans which I'm excited to get back into and create more content surrounding. So yeah, just a creative gal trying to juggle multiple plates and wear multiple hats in the big city. <laughs> that's so good. that's my situation. Me? Oh, so glad you asked. Um, I am a uh, part-time barista by day and also a stand-up comedian and writer by night. I originally moved to New York to be an actress. I am no longer sure if that's something that I'm interested in but stay tuned because people are changing all the time and yeah myself included. myself included and i'm currently working on writing a book it's been going on for a year i have rewritten a chapter one three four times actually no, four times now but um there's there's like twenty thousand words of dragons and lesbians so Cheers. Cheers. We want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor of this video, Skillshare. You will hear more about them later, but of course, in supporting a small channel and engaging with our content, you are doing these two gals who are just trying to live their dreams uh, a huge favor. Huge and so solid. we also want to give a shout out to them because they are helping us put all the pieces of our lives into gear. Anyway, with that being said, I think we're ready to jump into a fun weekend living in New York City. Let's do it. We're excited to be back. 
Hello everyone and happy Hi. Saturday. Happy weekend. We're so thrilled to bring y'all along for a super fun weekend in our lives in New York oh, City. Man. And it's just, it's been so long and it just feels so right right now. So uh, what, what's, on, what's on the agenda mm. for this morning? Well, on this morning, first of all, Hopefully it won't storm. We do have a hurricane warning this weekend. Hurricane Henry. Anyway, we are going to brunch with Christy and then we are going to go do some things on our own. We might do some book shopping today, which is gonna be, I think would be super vibey and super fun. Yeah, we might go to a stationery shop. Who knows? The um, day holds so many possibilities. We're also grabbing a night ice cream cone with our friend Gabby and we're going to consume it on the Met steps like um, main characters. Yeah, so we got the energy on. Come along with us on this glorious day. Also, Aline never usually has a Saturday off. No. So, so it's an anomaly and I'm here for it. We're very excited to spend the day together and with some friends doing some NYC shenanigans and also we're about to do an OOTD for both of our fits today. So why don't we get into that and then head over to Time and Tonic on the Upper West Side for some gluten-free vegan veganish, I think it's what they what they call it, veganish. Respect uh it. brunch treats. Honestly, can't wait. My hair is still drying while I do this, so I'm going to put out a petite disclaimer of like. It looks I know cute. She looks a little frizzy, but she's still a little damp, so that would be. You look great. You look very hip. Well, I try. I do my best. Walk um, us through the look you have on today. It's okay. very cute. Thank you. I think they're a Lee's short and they are thrifted. I got them at a Goodwill in Montana. This top, it's literally from a balm in Montana that I got like three years ago at this point. I wear it all the time. It's like a very fun staple because it's just like an elevated t-shirt. Then this guy on top is a new vest that I got at a Goodwill Ooh, in Montana. Stunning. It's got some beautiful embroidery work. <laughs> and yeah, nice just a bunch beats. of flowers. Some You get a lot of compliments kind of on it. Ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> People like it. People go crazy for And it. who found it at the thrift store? Uh, a little personal shopper I like to call my sister Michelle. I, yeah, I found this guy at Thrift and um, I generously gifted it to her. Frankly, it was too large for her, so, um, you know. Also just, yeah, more more your scene, but she said I can borrow it if I ever so wish, so I'm yeah, excited. Yeah, she's ever craven. Then I have these two necklaces, which I've really enjoyed layering together recently. I have a thick neck, so sometimes it's hard to find necklaces that are the exact right length to layer like this, but this guy is from Missouri and this guy is from Ana Luisa. We have codes for both, I do believe, so we'll link them. Link those down below. And my glasses are from Felix Grey, which I also, I think we do have a code for as well, so if you want those, they're just blue light, um, and I use them as an accessory. Grey, and your shoes? And my shoes are the unisex Reebok. Very shoe. cool, nice, nice, nice. Belt is from? Target? <gasps> Who knows? I forgot. Probably Target, I think, from back in the day. Yeah. That's it. Howdy, friends. This is my look for the day. I'm going to rattle this off quick as we are now running late for brunch, as per usual. These are old Gap overalls, and I'm obsessed with them. They're so comfortable. The white is very fun. and Very then, summer. Very, very fun. Very summer. <laughs> and then I have this great new tank which is from rich or poorer recycled fabric pretty fancy stuff i love this tank it's so soft and comfortable the rich or poorer tank tops 10 out of 10 would recommend i've got my anna luisa chain anna luisa hoop love them so these are my shoes from everlane and i love laying them with socks these socks are from girlfriend collective yeah that's they killer say, they say please recycle on them so Wow. I stand by that statement. Icons only. Uh, and yeah, that's that's the outfit. I feel like, yeah, we matched today, which is also exciting. Very sister. Oh, yeah. Sister, sister Actually, vibes. now that you mention it, like, we really do. Just like a very similar color scheme. Hair is by me. And, um, Hair is by me. <laughs> All right. My parents for gifting it to me. Yeah. Hair is gifted by my parents. Oh, let's just be real. It is 100% our father. Anyway. Let's go get some eats. Food. Can't wait. I'm hungry.
interrupting this vlog real quick just to thank the sponsors of this video, Skillshare. If you haven't heard of Skillshare before, where Whoa, you been? Where, where have you been? Uh, Under a rock, perhaps. Um, but if you haven't heard of Skillshare, they are an amazing online learning platform offering an insane amount of range of classes where you can learn from your own abode about any topic of your interest. Whether you are a business minded or a creative person, they've got something for you, something for you to have a takeaway of. We are personally big fans. I love their classes on storytelling, personal essays, and fiction. I also have taken a cheeky class on world building, as I don't know if you've heard, but I'm working on currently on a book with dragons and gays. You gotta build a world to make it all a good better. Truly such amazing resources. I am really trying to get back into tapping into my creative side. So Skillshare has been such a wonderful place where I can I can go to learn, to get inspired, and to hear from other professionals, other creatives that have an incredible portfolio of work. For example, I really love their classes on illustration and finding your creative style. There's just really an endless amount of opportunities learning through Skillshare and we're both very self-taught in our areas of interest. So Skillshare is such an important and fundamental part of um, our continuing education and our continuing creative careers. Yay! They have set you guys up with a pretty sick deal. The first a thousand people to click the link below will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership so you can check it out risk-free if you want to take a look at if Skillshare is for you or if you just want to take a few classes yeah check it out and maybe you'll learn something new or just have a grand old time tapping into some skills that uh, that should be shared anyway thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video and thank you all for watching and making it possible for us to um, have sponsorships like this one and continue to grow our channel. That being said, let's pop back into the rest of the vlog. Hello y'all, a little Hi. bit of an update. What have we done this morning? We had a delightful gluten-free brunch with Christy at Time and Tonic. Had a blast and a half and then we went and we looked at some books at the cheeky upper west side strand it was here so love very wholesome very chill very cozy even though it's warm um and there's a hurricane warning so uh, what what a thrill ride <laughs> it's just summer thing we also stumbled into a local knickknack shop called magpie and we found some divine prints which i'm sure that's where alin has been Ooh! running off to Yes, check out this bad boy. You're, yeah, you're you're right. Your see your eyes are not deceiving you. Those are woodland creatures in a elevator in a giant oak tree. <laughs> as this, as everything you, I've ever wanted. As you should have. You should have this piece. So we also found this gorgeous Central Park print. And it's just, it's the vibe that we've been looking for, for more pieces for our living room. And it just, it just goes with the aesthetic that we want. We are aiming for a very like chic grandmother, a cottage and a Parisian maximalist apartment. Yeah, we want something eclectic and clean but also full of, character full of character and cozy vibes a la Birdie from You Got Mail, our main source of inspiration. Our main is both. And we're so excited that we found both of these at a cute local store, which we also just thoroughly enjoyed exploring. And now we're back at our apartment. We've been taking a beat here for a little bit. And now I think we're going to go to the New York Public Library branch in our neighborhood, the Upper West Side. What is it? St. Agnes yeah, branch? St. Agnes branch. The St. Agnes branch of the New York Public Library. And we think we're gonna do some YouTube work for a little bit and enjoy each other's company. The library very recently reopened and I actually have not been inside well, it let yet. Let's check their hours. So it turns out they are open um, as confirmed yeah, by Alain. And we're going to do a couple hours of work and uh, just have a vibey time. It's kind of a cloudy day. There's a hurricane coming. So um, it'll be nice to just hang out in the neighborhood and get some stuff done and we're going to do a lovely ice cream cone after dinner with our friend Gabby later. Oh, so phone. great times. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello everyone, Hi. so a little update. We're heading over to our beloved friend Gabby's after a day of walking. We spent a little bit of time at the library, but honestly not too much. We had a walk and talk around the neighborhood, which was very needed. Fabulous, fabulous. Now we're meeting our friend Gabby at her apartment and we're going to get some ice cream. Much so, needed. I great like. nightly cone. We also did have bonza pasta at our apartment, which, which Aline made. Oh, watch out, gourmet. Oh. Happy Sunday. We are fully in a hurricane as we speak and all weekend plans have been completely changed from here on out. But that being said, yesterday we had such a blast hanging out with Gabby. We went to Anita La Mama Gelato, which is this insanely delicious gelato spot on the Upper East Side. And then we went to Gabby's apartment and we hung out on her brand new beautiful couch um, for multiple hours. And it was truly a delight, despite getting fully caught in the hurricane during our ice cream date. It ended up all working out and we had so much fun just hanging out at her apartment so that was a blast and a half i'm about to make some coffee and just settle in to this lazy sunday it actually might be quite a productive sunday alina and i were planning on going to the farmer's market as we do every sunday and then meeting up with our friend emily at the grand bazaar alas that will have to be a next weekend thing but there are quite a few things I need to do around the apartment. I'd love to do a nice like tidy and clean of the place since it is a Sunday. And then I do want to work on a new YouTube banner as well as edit a video that we have in the works. So there are, there are things to be done. And honestly, just going to try to make today super cozy. About to make some coffee and um, get the day get the day started. Ready? Yeah. Each other. That's kind of underdone. Oh. Asking to write it down for me. Yeah, this album slaps. I think these are better than any restaurant. I'm so nice. I know. And also, how do you like this little picture guy? Oh my god, such an upgrade from our weird jar. Yeah. Look, this is called class. <laughs> that concludes this New York City weekend in our lives. We hope you had fun. Yeah, seriously. Hope we really enjoyed it. it. We had a good time. I had a good time with you. Oh, we had a great time spending time together this weekend and just bebopping around the city, seeing some friends, doing some fun shenanigans. And this is just the start for our, our, our channel from here on out. We're so excited to be back and be back for good. So if you are not subscribed, please do. And also click the, the bell if you don't want to miss anything. Because we're going to be uploading more. So it's going to be easier you might miss something. to like miss something. Yeah. So if you don't want to do that, click that GD button. And follow us on Instagram to keep up with the rest of our lives. And all of that stuff. Thank you so much for being patient with us. We're really excited to be back at it. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.